So this was an absolutely awesome night of rabbit hunting with thermals, but it didn't start off that way. It actually started off as a spot and stalk hog hunt. So we knew it wasn't happening with the hogs, but we'd seen several rabbits this evening. So we decided to change our plans and try to kill some rabbits. All right guys, I got one with the bow earlier, which was incredible, but this air rifle is incredible. So let's see, incredible. Just incredible. Not the biggest rabbit, but perfect shot, quick kill. That's what we want. That's a better one. Mm -hmm. You have a big, sweet, and a good one. We got a good mess of rabbits. Awesome. So we've already got two in the truck, and there's three more. These are going to be some mighty fine eating. Rabbit is absolutely delicious. Super, super, super lean. Like most wild game, but I mean, rabbit has no fat on it whatsoever. But it is beautiful meat. All right, so we've got these rabbits here. As most of you know, YouTube's pretty sensitive about reality and breaking down meat for processing. So um, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how we clean these. So basically what I do is I just, it's very simple to clean a rabbit. Just put a little slit right there in the back of the rabbit. Just a little cut where you can get your fingers in there. And so now I can get my fingers in there on both sides and this rabbit will peel apart. Then you take scissors, cut all four feet off, cut the head off, pull the guts out very simply, wash it out and you've got a whole rabbit and then you wanna quarter it. So after you've done that, this is the finished product, clean, gutted and skinned. So now that our rabbit is quartered, we're liberally seasoning with our strawberry seasoning that we like to use. So now we're throwing it onto the smoker. It's set at 225 degrees, and we're gonna let it go for two hours. So I'm warming some olive oil in a pan here. I've got a half a medium onion that I've chopped, two garlic cloves, about half a cup of carrots, and one celery stalk. And we're gonna go ahead and saute these until nice and translucent. Now that those veggies are soft, I added in a half a cup of dry wine. I've got a can of diced tomatoes, one cup of beef broth, and we're gonna add our seasonings, dried thyme, oregano, and rosemary. Now add your rabbit pieces to this liquid mixture, cover and put into a 225 degree oven for four hours or until the meat is tender and falling off the bone. All right, we're sitting down to some delicious rabbit stew. Really excited about this. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for uh, providing us with this meal, this food. Uh, thank you for blessing us. Just pray that you'll be with our country, be with our leaders, and um, that you'll just bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies, our bodies to your service. We love you and praise you and all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, super tender. 
Get a little bit of rice with it, a little bit of the fixings. Mmm. Mm. You did an awesome job, Glory. Awesome Thank you. job. So good. Mmm. Yeah, it's got the consistency of it's kind of like chicken, but not really. And you can see it's a little bit darker meat. At least this is the leg here. Um, those back straps are pretty white, but very tender, fall apart. And Mmm. That's good. It is good. That's good rabbit slap, Dabba. That is good. Yeah, not gamey, not, I mean, it's just, I just taste the full rich flavor of that tomato sauce. And it's delicious. Phenomenal. Love you guys. Love you so much. Each and every one of you, I'm thinking about you right now while I eat this rabbit. Until next time, stay well.